I thought aviation was all about trying to go fast and go somewhere. And I met my wife and she says, you know, the, another part of aviation is to fly low and slow and, and enjoy the journey. She got me back into it and now I've got a vintage hat. <laughs> this is a 1928 Gypsy Moth, uh, made in England. I didn't want to add anything to it. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Originally, de Havilland never put brakes on a Gypsy Moth. And they wouldn't put a tail wheel on it either. A 1564 Charlie is a 1953 Cessna 180. For so many decades, this airplane has kind of been a, like one of the family. So we, we used to fly down to my grandmother's farm, land on this little dirt road in the middle of the farm. We would stuff the back with uh, strawberries and corn and everything else. And uh, we did that just many, many times uh, growing up. So that was a, a fantastic memory. So I was growing up, I spent much time operating antique equipment and I'm much more comfortable with cables, pulleys, magnetic fields than I am with diodes and transistors. <laughs> the aircraft is a uh, Sopwith one and a half strutter. The other thing that's unique about early aircraft like this is the takeoff and landing. They're actually more uh, comparable to a modern stole aircraft. We had quite a few people ask us what the crosswind component is of a Sopwith and of course the answer is there is none, it's not necessary. Things I think about a project like this is you, you're always working on parts, like you're working on the wing, you're working on the fuselage, you're working on the interior. You think you have an airplane, but you really don't. It's very hard to put it all together as a working package. You know, this is like having a cat for a pet. It's never going to do what you want it to. They all have a personality. They're all different. And even if you go from airplane to airplane, they have a personality and they're different. My yearning was I wanted to see the airplanes in the museum out on the flight line circling around the, the airfield and so I was determined to make that something that would happen. One of the things that is important to me is to promote the history of it, not just the airplane itself, but the aviation history. And that seems to be, you know, what everybody wants to hear here at, here at Oshkosh. So it's, it's been terrific, and it just keeps getting better.